Hey guys, Brad M73. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19. Uh, today I wanted to look really quickly before we get started at the mods because we do have a few new mods. Um, these are, I believe, all of these except for maybe one is is an official mod, and that would be it. You can either go into packages or buildings, and it's this uh, composite machine sheds. I don't yeah this is from niggles uh veritex design and you've got these really nice um you know farm sheds or you know what are they called yeah composite machine sheds uh that you could place on your farm um obviously they have a more european look but hey um if you're trying to be progressive in the united states and you want to have a really nice farm <laughs> building uh, these are way better than anything we have in game right now. So um, I downloaded those. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, we also get uh, the Agco front weight, twenty-seven or no, twenty-eight hundred kilogram weight. Uh, let's see the Ursus uh, bale trailer, bale wrapper, the Flegel trailer, which I've installed. Uh, a fuel tank. That's pretty cool. I think this is giant. Oh no, it's Veritex. Never mind. Uh, and a planter. Oh, and then the uh, for the Corona Big X 580 and the header for it. <clears throat> Those are new this week. And uh, so we're gonna jump in and let's see. I think this is my career. I need to like change the save save game to be like my save we've got home. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we're gonna enable the composite machine sheds. Uh, the JCB 435S, which I also downloaded and the straw storage which i may put to use sometime down the line so let's get started i know a lot of you guys have been asking me brad when's the next let's play coming out and i've been slow to get my episodes out this time around just because i've been live streaming and honestly i've really been enjoying live streaming um i know you know i kind of go through phases where i like live streaming and then i um you know get out of the um, <laughs> get out of the mood to live stream and then I'm live streaming again. And um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. But uh, yeah, I wanted to come back and, uh, you know, get some episodes out for you guys because I know you guys have been wanting them. So let's see, we are back on the farm and I've got to figure out, let's see, what do we have to do? I don't remember who, but I got to do. Um... Let's see. It looks like we might have been fertilizing or something. Or no, seeding. Is that what we were doing? We were doing some seeding work. Um, whoop. Okay, so we need to fertilize. Wait, is this actually growing over here? Did we do fields? Did we already plant these fields? I guess we must have. Because they, yep, they are actually growing all right so let's uh start them up let's get the um cedar somewhere and then i gotta figure out if i own a fertilizer sprayer what are all those are those is this lime it is lime okay all right so we've got the uh oh Kind of got a little dip there. <laughs> we just have all these bushes and stuff out in front of our uh, shed here, so it's kind of silly. But I want to get the want to get this guy connected up. This should have the fertilizer in it. That has some fertilizer. Should be enough. So let's go and get our fertilizing done, and then we'll be able to fast forward time to the harvest. I'm just going to go across here. I guess we'll do this manually. So, um, you know, I've been getting a lot of... Um, questions about you know people or from people asking what do i think of farming simulator 19 and um i would say overall it's definitely the best farming simulator 
uh, you know, that, that Giants has put out so far. <clears throat> I like a lot of the changes. Um, and then the, the other question that I, I get a lot is, which map do you like best? Do you like the American map or do you like the European map more? And my official answer is I like them both about equally. But I do have a complaint about the American map. So Giants, if you're listening, um, I doubt this will ever be, you know, fixed in a patch or anything like that. But I'm really disappointed with how all of the buildings and all of the, um, you know, the cosmetic uh, placeables, you know, placeable buildings... They're all run down and dilapidated looking. I, I don't know why anybody would ever want to use those. Um, it's definitely not flattering. And, um, you know, why they why they made that design choice, I have absolutely no idea. Um, but, you know, other than that, you know, when you're out, I love the fields. I like how everything's laid out. I like the little town. I just don't like that the map is so, for lack of a better term, junky. So anyway. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I've been having a blast playing it. Uh-oh. Is this fertilizer? Did we already fertilize part of this? I don't think so. No, I think we're going to... We've got like a giant backwards L here. Or wait... No, that's a backwards L. <laughs> or wait, now it's not. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have to come back. Do we miss a spot? Oh, come on. Huh. That's not taking any more fertilizer either. Uh, let's see, other things going on. Uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about my DeLorean build, and I'm still waiting on the right part, <clears throat> the right parts from the um, the company to continue that on, and I've not received those, so really kind of frustrated about that right now. And I think we're, yeah, let's go ahead and fast forward time now. <clears throat> but you know, once I get those parts, I'm gonna have, gosh, like. Close to 20 issues, probably, to catch up on. So that might go really quickly once I get all those parts in. Um, oh, are we doing any jobs? Oh, we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and hire the corn guy here. The corn guy. In the Fent Ideal. But yeah, we're trying to, you know, do everything we possibly can to get some extra money. So, um, let's see, we don't have any animals. Uh, we don't have a loan right now, though, so that's good. So, you know, we could, you know, we could buy, an, you know, some new fields. Uh, we could buy, sorry, I had to take a drink there. Um, we, we could buy a new combine, like a bigger combine. Or even a second combine. So there's just tons of different things we could do. Actually, as far as buying fields, let's look at that really quick. Let's go in here. Because um, field 21 is actually very um, affordable at 147000 uh, Field 18 is a little bit more expensive. But I think it's a smaller field than field 21. Oh, that's okay. That's that. Um, you know, going up to f maybe field 17. Um, that's a much larger field, but then I've got to, you know, take all my equipment up there and I w I would actually probably rather, let's see, build a farm up here somewhere. So let's see. No, I don't want to buy this. How much is this? 217,000. We're going to visit the animal dealer. Oh, can I actually go in here? Oh, that's not really anything I can go in. Um, I was wanting to go in there, but no. Okay. So I just want to kind of come over here really quick, because I want to see... 
see there's like a um a little flat part right here which is actually bigger than it looks uh let's see here let's look at i just want to look at animal pens and maybe i know i don't have enough money all right well in order for us to have enough money let's borrow some and it's going to start getting dark here let's slow down time and let's try this uh let's just try a horse paddock and no it's too small for that oh but we could we could definitely put See, let's go back to placeables sheds. So yeah, we've got like these sheds. Um, the VD Industries. Oh, we're gonna get VD if we get these. Like we could put a shed here. Um, we could rotate it. Um, so we it'll kind of back. You could kind of back it up onto the. Um, Railroad here. <clears throat> kind of like that. And it looks like it's pretty flat overall. And that would be something that, you know, we would... We would want to experiment around with. Alright, so let's see. We've got... Somebody's got an almost... Oh... It's getting dark. And I think we do, let's see. Let's squirt some, yeah, let's just shoot some fertilizer on the field really quick. This should only take a moment and then we'll go and offload the corn. So we'll just have to kind of go around the field like in that L shape pattern like I was talking about before. <clears throat> and by and ah and by and large i think we'll be pretty much done with this field there's a couple spots not really gonna go and worry about those too much though okay oh he is full <clears throat> Oh, we've got beacons on our, what is this? Oh, the 7R, nice. And then again, where are we selling all this? Are we selling it at the ranch? At the ranch, okay. And Oh no. This is the weird trailer that nothing ever... There we go. <laughs> oh, this trailer is going to be the end of me. I don't know if it's been reported as a bug yet, though. Um, I have... I've submitted one bug report so far, and this is one that I keep thinking about, but then I forget about. I know, I know, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Alright. So while he's off doing his thing, we will go and drive up to the ranch. But yeah, I mean, you know, aside from, you know, some of the trashy buildings on the farm and, you know, some of the junk that's strewn around on this map, I, I really do enjoy it. You know, I think if they were to just do like a cleanup pass on it um, and re-release the map, I think it would be a million times better. Um, I don't really have a problem with anything else on this map other than that. <laughs> and I, I, I have been playing the American map more in the European map. Um, I did set up a multiplayer server 
where um, you know I'm playing the uh, the European map. But um, you know, so I you know I've been fairly equal between the two. But I would say, as far as my live streams, I've been primarily concentrating on the American map. You know, recently. You got the nice stables up here. This corn is heavy stuff. We're at half of our top speed. Come on, let's go. Um, the other game that I've really been getting excited about lately is um, Star Citizen. I've been playing that like crazy. Um, I've also been kind of filling in the gaps with some Battletech. Uh, play an hour or two of Battletech um, every couple days. And, oh my gosh, so slow. I'm definitely not going to come up the other side, the north side um, trail uh, or road up to... <laughs> up to here with this no way all right all right so that's offloading still oh look at the look at the uh the lighting i really love the lighting in the new game mm-hmm -mm. Looks like we've got a field or two that's ready to harvest, so let's get right on that. And then I'm not sure what I planted. Uh, for, uh, hopefully soybeans. I like growing soybeans because they're predictable. Um, you know, you don't have straw to pick up afterwards. For me, like in farming sim, straw is more of a utility crop. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you're if you're doing, oh no, we didn't do the spraying or the weeding, did we? Oh no. Well, let's slow down time. I don't even know why I didn't think of the weeding. Uh, yeah, so field 24, 26, it's too late. But not for field 24. Um... <clears throat> And I don't think we have anything that will do spraying. So we're probably going to need to purchase a sprayer. Do I, wait, do I even have any... Do I have a front loader? I, I don't have a front loader. Uh-oh. Jeez, helper E, you're killing me. Um, I'm not seeing weeds on this field, but... Oh, there they are. Yep, there's definitely weeds on there. Well, we're going to need to... Wait, where? Ah, there we go. Enter vehicle. Let's drive this guy down because we're going to have to offload the corn. And then we'll have to drive up and buy a sprayer. We just have to. And hopefully, yeah, I can't really see where the... Ah! <laughs> you guys getting vertigo yet? And helper, golly, he went from like almost full to full in no time. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they about uh, crop yield and crop rotation, and uh, they were saying, "Oh yeah, you sweat, you know, every 
couple harvests, you're supposed to change crops. Um, I've actually been tracking that. I've uh, been writing down my crop loads, especially in on my uh, live streams. And I, I haven't seen any ev evidence that, you know, changing the crop out for, you know, and then going back to another crop in any way affects the yield. Uh-oh. Oh, he's right down here at the end of the field. Okay. And she's done, so let's move off. And we're like almost halfway. Full. Well, probably a good third of the way full already. Okay. Um, right, he's going. Oh nope. All right, off to purchase a. Uh, what? Let's see. You know what? I'm not even gonna do this. We're gonna buy. A I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm never. I'll be honest. As much as I love this little Fiat, um, its usefulness around my farm is incredibly limited. So let's just go ahead and um, sell it on to a a much more desperate farmer than I am. <laughs> so we'll take it up to the uh the shop and we're going to sell this i do like this though i was actually using it quite a bit during my uh, live streams and uh yeah just really enjoy it do 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 So I definitely do think that buying field 21 is a good idea. Um, I probably want to have a few, a few harvests under my belt first. You know, if we can get about, oh, 100,000 or so of soybeans, I think we'll be doing really good. Um, we also need to buy a new cedar that's going to probably cost around a hundred thousand um, dollars so we've got to make several purchases to kind of get up to you know a really good production level and then then from there we'll be able to you know expand the farm and and do a lot more things so just hoping we can get there quickly Here's the restaurant up here, which is one of the selling points. Right up that little road right there. There's a, you know, like the little platform that you drive up onto and offload your your grains to sell. Uh, the gas station is right up here on the right. And everything else in the town, you know, is just pretty much cosmetic. Let's see, let's just go ahead. I guess we can pull in here. Oh, I saw the, uh, <laughs> I was like, when did I buy a uh, header trailer? But then I remembered, oh yeah, we're doing a job. So that's what that's for. 
Well, Mr. Fiat, I'm really sorry. You're a beautiful tractor. Extremely well done. Come on, stomp on the gas there. But it is time to go. Engine running or not. All right, so we're just going to sell it. We're going to get 52 grand for that, so not going to complain. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go into... I think it's medium tractors and I'm going to buy the John Deere 6M and we're going to do, um, Ooh, I forgot we could put front weights on this, but I don't want to put front weights on it because I want to put a front loader attacher on it. Um, we also want to do the fully upgraded engine, which is the 6155 M that'll at least bump us up to 164 horsepower so we got the front and then as far as the wheel setup i want to go with narrow tires because we're going to be using the uh this tractor a lot for um you know fertilizer and spraying and all kinds of good stuff so all right so now that we have that that's a hundred and thirty three thousand dollars we are going to buy it and then let's see, let's go back because, whoops, I think we have to go to this thing. Uh, we're going to buy the John Deere 643R. This is the front loader attachment for it. And then we're going to buy a pallet fork. And one of the other super cool things besides the uh, 3D store here is we can actually change the main color and we can paint it John Deere green so that it matches our tractor. And that'll cost us another thousand bucks. So let's run up, we'll fetch those from the store. See what I mean about junky? There's just ju garbage all over the place. Um, what does it say? Sardines and tuna? Um, I don't know. This is technically supposed to be out in California, so maybe maybe California is a lot worse off than the last time I was out there, but it surely isn't that bad around here. So let's hook up our John Deere. And let's take a look. Oh, look at this nice tractor. Oh, oh it's so nice to see John Deere in Farming Simulator finally. So, yep, 6155M. We've got the nice big uh, Trelleborg tires. And then just look at all the little attachments and everything back there. And it's all brand new and nice and clean. Just an absolutely beautiful. And we've got, an, you know, an official John Deere front loader uh, with the stall uh, fork right there. So, super duper awesome. And looking around, let's see, we don't, I don't know. Oh, there is like a little light there, like a vanity light that'll probably lights up all the switches and things at night when you can't see it. Um, I don't know what this gigantic lever is kind of in front of the window, like just about dead center. Um, but uh, we've got all the other controls. Um, a lot of people were asking about the um, the drive controls, and you could actually see the little orange knob or stick there on the left or right. Um, so like it's in neutral now, and I guess it goes forward, you know, you push it forward to go forward. So that was pretty cool. All right. So next up, we are going to need, uh, some crop protection and I'm going to buy, let's see, this one holds. Let's see, we can use it with this. That holds 1500. This holds 1300 liters. And we don't have enough money, so we're going to have to borrow some more money. Let's just borrow. Okay, so we're out 100000 right now. But we need to do this. And I'm not going to borrow the, or buy the uh, rear tank just yet. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is the fertilizer pallet fertilizer no the herbicide tank we can buy fertilizer for it but uh, make sure to buy the correct 
thing for our tank. And why do I get the feeling that <laughs> this is guy's full again? Yep. Let's go up and offload. I mean, the corn fills up so rapidly. You know, you almost need it like a semi truck with the big Wilson trailer because it'll hold 60,000 liters. of your grain, which is way more efficient than this little thing. But hey, we're, you know, we're gonna make, I don't know, some money. I don't know, how much are we gonna make off of this? 28,000 plus whatever, you know, corn in addition to that. Uh, we're also gonna have a field 11 harvesting mission. We'll probably wanna take that as well. Uh, right after this one. So I find that, you know, if you're having trouble loading this Joskins trailer, is if you load it, like, right in the very front, it'll, lo it'll, you know, your combines will actually offload into it. Anywhere else, and it's kind of like, uh, it may work, it may not work. Let's, um... Oh, he's almost full. So, let's see. We can pick up our trailer over here. Whoop. <laughs> Sometimes I accidentally hit the E button or the yeah, the E button which causes me to pop out onto the ground. offload this guy while we're at it. back at our stuff here in the John Deere, so we're just going to back him around, hook up the uh, sprayer here. We've got this nice, hello, the Coon Deltas. Ooh, look at the pattern on there of the uh, reflector. That's actually what they look like. That's pretty cool. I'd never really gotten that close to, you know, pay attention. Oh, look at the sun glinting off the metal. So it's like the details like that that really add a lot of extra depth to the game. Um, and I think a lot of people, you know, don't even see those kind of details. Um, you know, probably in, you know, if you, when you go back and you look at like Farming Simulator 15 or even 17 and you don't have the really nice shadows and you don't have those kind of deep, wait, why can't, why isn't this lifting up? I need to, oh, there we go. Huh, that was weird. Oh, that's right, because the Coon Deltas, um, you can lift up and lower down as well. So that's probably why, because I was going to say, if you've got anything else hooked up, um, you can work the, uh, you know, the, the front loader arm without actually having to switch to it. That was kind of <laughs> caught me off guard a little bit. So we'll head back to the farm, we'll drop off the uh, herbicide, and then we will, let's see, what are we going to do then? Fill up the uh, Coon Deltas, and then we'll be away with the sprayer. We'll go and spray some weeds. And right back there is field 21, field 22 is right there.
you know, with like Field 22, you know, we've got some of this hilly area. Um, I guess it would be, I mean, we could plant trees up there and do logging, wood chipping and things like that. The, uh, you know, like the Ponzi scorpion and what's the new one? The, I want to say it's the Komatsu, but I can't remember the name. All right, so I'm just going to drop this. Uh, right up here. And Helper J is finished. Yeah, if you offload a combine that's a hired worker like when it's in the middle of the field, once it's done unloading, it usually doesn't move off again, which is a problem. Um, okay, now let's take a look at, oh, saving. Just wanna make sure, yeah, we've got weeds there. Now, once a field is fully grown, um, like, you know, field 26 has weeds on it too, but see, it's fully grown. And even if I take the uh, weeder out there, or the sprayer over there to do that uh, field, it's not going to work. It, the weeds will just stay and the damage is done. So we're going to hire a worker to go ahead and do this. Helper A. Oh, that's me. It was blocked by me. And we'll just offload this while we're here. I think having the weeds um, decrease the, the maximum yield a little bit, the 200% yield by about, I think it's 15%, but I can't really remember. We can look at it uh, really quick. Actually, you can look at it anytime by hitting escape and then going up. I think it's the very, the, the option all the way to the far right um, which is like your help menu, and it kind of explains how to do all the different uh, functions in the game and crops and um, things like that. So it's something very important uh, if you're new to Farming Simulator to go through. Come on, move up, and then I'll hire the worker. And yeah, so I'll just hit escape and it's this option right here. And again, you can go, you know, farming basics, advanced knowledge, um, animals, forestry, production recap, production recap. Quick recap of all the possible productions in the game. Um, there you go. I, yeah, wheat. Barley, canola, corn, sunflowers, soybean. It would be kind of nice if they did put their names on each one of these, just so you know. But, um, yep, these are just all the different things that you can produce in the game. Well, can you actually produce lime? Lime can be bought? No. Uh, it's got, yep, sugar cane, how to do it, making money. See that? People always ask me, like, how do I make money in Farming Sim? Right here. <laughs> That's going to tell you how. Um, icons part one. Uh, ooh, two. Engine power shows the power of the engine. Uh, required power. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. And so, yeah. But if we want to know, if we go down here to improving yield. So, uh, to avoid a yield malice, you must uh, remove bad weeds, otherwise minus 20%. So basically, it's kind of like if you do everything right, you get 2% or 200% of the, of the worst possible yield. You'll always get a yield one way or the other. But um, let's say, you know, if you didn't spread fertilizer, if you didn't spread lime, if you didn't um, remove the weeds, and if you were basically sowing a plow, an unplowed field, then you would get 
half the yield that you would uh, is if you did all these things. So as long as you do all these things, you'll get you know your your peak yield. But when you don't do um, all the little maintenance tasks, uh, it will reduce the overall yield. So we got 5,882 uh, off of this first field. Which honestly isn't too bad. Uh, it looks like we are finished spraying. I'll just uh, offload there while we'll run over. And we'll see all the little black weeds up here. Like right there. You know, gray, black, whatever. They're dead. That's the, <laughs> that's the gist of it. And so, um, yeah, we want them to remain that way. Uh, so we're doing field 26. Um, oh, we've got to jump in this guy. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to offload everything. In this combine. So we'll have to do a quick drop off run and then come right back because he'll probably be full by the time we uh, we get back or probably well before we get back. But we're, you know, we're getting pretty close to halfway finished on this field, so that's good. And he's full. Look at that morning sun. That's just awesome. Actually, where is the sun? Oh, it's way up in the clouds, like top right corner. And you just, I can just barely see it. So once the video goes through all the compression and stuff, then <laughs> you might not be able to see it at all. Looks like it's going to be a cloudy day today. Trying to just do really small turns because every, you know, sharp turn bleeds off more and more energy that we need to use to go forward more quickly. So if you do really shallow turns... You know, your forward momentum doesn't bleed off as much as if you do like a really quick turn. Of course, now we're going to be going uphill. Eh. And then we're going to be going up the really steep hill. On, where's my high torque mode? <laughs> we gain just a little bit of speed right here. Go, go. Oh, I was hoping that we might not drop down into the single digits, but I should have known better. I mean, the other thing we could do is just take two loads and let's see here. Let's offload. Oh, keep going there. We could we could just take two loads. So we wouldn't it, we wouldn't be at full weight, and we might be able to get a little bit you know better speed. Maybe we'll do that next time. Forty nine percent. So we're almost halfway done with 
with field 40 or with field 8 with that job Oh yeah, we should have turned around and come back this way the first time. Right up to full speed. Past full speed, actually, because we're going downhill. As <laughs> people are tripping, they're like, why is a tractor f flying past us? I don't care, I'm just trying to get back to the field to offload some more corn yep there we go we finally slowed down oh look at the shadows on all the little blades of grass and everything that's funny oh there he is well, we'll be ready for him oh oh no he's full oh man I was hoping that he would get down here and turn around Come on now, don't be like that. There we go. So I, I'm going to offload him a little bit. We're just going to pull forward and I'm going to let him turn around. Just because keeping him moving is just going to reduce the amount of time that it takes to finish, you know, this field. So now we should be able to drive up. There we go. Now the next thing is, is are we going to be able to drive and offload? Yeah. Uh-oh, maybe not. Up oh, there now he's offloading just fine. And so as soon as the ideal is empty, you know, we can just stop and go off to do other things. And I think this holds, let's see, is this the, oh, it's the 8T, okay. See, I think the, I think the 8T and the 9T both have the same, um, you know, grain capacity. I think it's like 17,000 or something. The 9T just has a more powerful engine. Geez, look at that. Okay, now he's empty. So somebody's got an almost full grain tank. And I guess it's this guy, because he is... Let's see, let's just... Go. Oh, no, 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 hire the worker. Oh, no, we're going to kill half our crops. <laughs> I couldn't hire the worker because there was nothing for him to do. Oh, man, I should have just let him off and do his thing oh well you live and you learn or like me you don't Okay, so now we'll uh, speed time up until our next, oh, this thing is almost full, okay. So I guess what I'll do I'll just pull up here. Begin offloading. Uh, okay.
Well, he's still kind of struggling to get up to speed here, though. Am I going to be able to get to him before he gets to the end of the field? I doubt it. No, nope, he just lifted his header. He's done. But we're pretty much past the halfway mark right now. Which is good. And I did just stop time because I wanted to go down and check on the field to make sure if it's grown or not. Uh, let me do this with the controller. Use my Xbox 360 wired controller. Going old school. But I've never had it fail me. Because it's like, it's you know, your, X, your wired Xbox controller, that's like the standard by which all other controllers are, are measured, really. All right. I'm going to drive off over here. And then... Let's tell... Man, that, th that field's still not grown. I, thought, I definitely thought it would have been grown by now. There we go. So we will get the best yield on this field because, you know, it's been plowed and weeded and all that good stuff. So we're all good here. Uh, okay, he's they're doing that. Man, that thing already passed up our John Deere. <clears throat> all right, so what we'll do... Just take whatever's off on this guy. We're going to take whatever he's got. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. <clears throat> and yeah, there we are. And we'll just take it right, whoop, take it right on down to the end of the field. And, whoop, got to move in. There he goes. And he's done. Okay. So, not quite a full load, but still pretty full. I, I think we're going to struggle a little bit. Where's a John Deere 8R when you need one? I don't think I've gotten a, an 8R in a mission yet. Oh, maybe I have. I haven't gotten an 8RT, I don't think. That's the one that's tracked. Though I do believe I got a... What's the other one? Is that the Challenger? I don't think Case has the tracked one. I mean, they've got the the what is it? The big, the big Case, the gigantic one.
And we're still losing speed coming up the hill here. <clears throat> we get a little steeper right here. Yeah, about the same performance, I guess. It's going to point in a straight line as possible. We got up to about 20 miles per hour. Up oh, 21. So it made a very slight difference. Basically, no difference. Helper A is blocked by an object. That is probably the combine. So, what is he blocked by? Oh. Well, boy, he gave up quick. A lot of times when they're blocked, they just, they'll sit there for a minute or two while they wait for you to come and help them out. Boy, he was just like, nope, I'm out of here. That is most disappointing, hired helper. So let's let's take a look and see. I want to see what we have. We've got fourteen thousand five hundred ninety-three. We're gonna have a little over twenty thousand. Um soybeans but the bad thing is is all the prices are terrible um, we really want to get you know over three thousand uh per liter and we're not even close to that <sighs> it's got to take another drink there uh, gotta stay hydrated <laughs> and uh-oh gotta get back to the field quick See, now I could probably go this way. Might be a little bit faster. Because he's going to be up at the top end of the field. So we'll see that little strip of grass right there. We'll go up that way. Or actually, no. We can follow the road around, can't we? That way we don't have to go through all the grass and all that stuff. Yeah, let's just follow the road. <clears throat> Don't go right, though. Don't go across the dam. Can actually drive across the dam if you want. So there's, not, there's nothing really over there to drive to other than, you know, just scenic scenery of scenicness. Ah! And it's pretty scenic up here, too. You know, we've got the, the bridge and everything. What's with all the saw the, like the street? You see all the little um, <laughs> the the turn reflectors like all knocked down. I wonder if that's a bug. I wonder if the uh, AI cars are knocking those down. That's funny. All right, so where? Oh, it's gonna be right up here. Oh, there's a really steep grade right there. There we go. So he just reported he's 80% full. Can we get to him in time to offload? I don't know. In this game, anything is definitely possible. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Go, go, go.
Got over 17,000 already. Went up on 20,000. Okay, so now we've got the full full load from the combine and when when you when you see that the uh, the flow stops like this, that you know that means that you know it's essentially empty. And it's got to fill up a little bit before it kind of squirts whatever it can into your uh, trailer here. And I'm just going to take this right up because I want to see. So we're getting to the, you know, the where the field starts to taper in. So we're probably, you know, more like two thirds the way uh, done with this field, which is good. But um, yeah, I think this is pretty much. All we can do in this episode is we're running out of quickly running out of time. But um, as always, thank you so much to everybody who's been watching, uh, hitting that like button. It does help me out tremendously. Donating through PayPal or even Super Chat during live streams. Thank you so much to everyone who uh, contributes. But uh, let me know down in the comments, uh, how am I doing, what you would do differently. Um, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. We're going to go up first and offload this. I just want to kind of see. Yeah, we're definitely got a little bit more speed. Not too much. Will we dip down into the single digits coming up the hill here? No, don't do it. Ten. Oh, nine. Oh, man. Oh, we even got down to eight there right at the end. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we did dip down a little bit, but that's okay. We'll begin offloading and... We have a worker who, for some strange reason, um, has quit on us again. Helper G is blocked by an object. This, where is there an object here? Okay, let's start the engine. I don't know where there's an object, but we're gonna, yeah, I can do this manually. I think it's these trees up here. So we're we're uh, we're gonna have to do something about these trees. Oh show! Oh no! I just destroyed some props again. So maybe I'm gonna have to kind of harvest this way from the top of the field, just so that my combine can turn around. Probably about three rows back and forth will hopefully be enough. I don't know, but we've got one, two, three. And then a little fourth tree there that uh, we'll need to take out to create more room so that our combines can do their thing. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. This has been Farming Simulator 19. I am Bradham73. Bye for now.